Claire touched the magic box and said, I hope my classmate's whole body rots. The next moment, her classmate's face started to decay. The following day, Claire learned from a friend that her classmate had a severe skin disease. Claire was unaware that the magic box had taken effect. She thought it was karma for her classmate's misdeeds. Returning home, she wanted to share this good news with her dog, only to discover that the dog had unexpectedly died inside the house. This dog, a gift from Claire's mother, had become Claire's family after her mother's suicide. Claire didn't understand why the dog had died, and she was oblivious to the fact that on the night she made a wish, the magic box automatically opened, playing eerie music. In sorrow, Claire, witnessing her crush Paul displaying affection, felt even more heartbroken. Consequently, she made a second wish for Paul to fall madly in love with her. When she arrived at school, Paul unexpectedly approached her for a conversation. Claire was overjoyed, yet she remained unaware that her beloved uncle had tragically died at home. Learning about her wealthy uncle's numerous and allocated assets, Claire, consumed by greed, made a third wish to the magic box, asking for her uncle's entire inheritance to be bestowed upon her. A day later, Claire did inherit her uncle's wealth, but the next victim had already been targeted. Claire's hand was in the kitchen, dealing with a jam blender as she reached down to clear the obstruction, the magic box suddenly opened. Unbeknownst to her, her hair got caught in the blender and was sucked in. Despite her attempts to press the stop button, she couldn't reach it. In the end, her scalp was completely torn off, resulting in a gruesome death. The magic box completed its task once again, leaving her with no choice but to turn to her good friend. This friend had a Chinese acquaintance who was well-versed in the language, and they planned to seek assistance in deciphering the box. The Chinese acquaintance warned them that the magic box must not be lost or abandoned. Otherwise, all wishes would be void, and when the music stopped, something does disastrous would occur. However, they were still puzzled because the crucial information had not been decoded. They had to wait for an expert's response. On their way home, Claire saw her father scavenging for garbage, an act that disgusted her, as she had been mocked by classmates for her father's behavior countless times. Frustrated, Claire impulsively made another wish to the magic box, transforming her father into a talented person. The wish quickly materialized, turning her father into a musician. Claire's friend was in awe, and the sky suddenly lit up with thunder and lightning. Meanwhile, the Chinese acquaintance received a reply from the teacher, revealing that for wishes to come true, a blood sacrifice was required. Realizing the gravity of the situation, the Chinese acquaintance frantically called Claire. However, the magic box had already opened on its own, and with the music playing, the blood ritual was completed. As a girl entered an elevator, the doors automatically opened, and before she could react, the elevator rapidly descended. Despite her struggles, she couldn't escape, and with a loud crash, Claire rushed to check. To her horror, she found her friend had met a tragic end. Unbeknownst to her, all these events were the result of Claire's magic box antics. Without hesitation, Claire made another wish, this time to resurrect her mother. Within seconds, her mother's voice could be heard outside, and her mother hugged her as if nothing had happened. With her parents' company, Claire happily celebrated her birthday. As the magic box played its music again, Claire looked towards her father outside the window, and hurriedly ran down to intervene. Her father stood under a tree with a chainsaw above him, and as expected, the woodworker accidentally cut him, splattering blood on Claire's face. Overwhelmed by these experiences, Claire couldn't hold back any longer. She made a final wish to the magic box, hoping to turn back time to when her father had not undergone the transformation. Suddenly, Claire woke up, her dog peacefully lying on the bed, her friend's soothing voice, her father vividly pressed, and her aunt warmly welcoming her. Everything had returned to normal, taking matters into her own hands this time. Claire handed herself over to her good friend, asking her to bury her. Before leaving, she gave her friend a farewell kiss. Just when she thought everything was coming to an end, a car appeared and struck her, concluding Claire's series of wishes. In the end, only she suffered the consequences, and her lonely life came to an end.